Hey guys, welcome back to Out of Bounds. I'm Chelsea Thomas. And I'm Manny Adeye. And I know we took a couple weeks off, and I know you guys missed us. That's right, never fear, cause we here, baby. We back, we back. We needed some personal days. For real. You know how that go. So we have a lot of great things to talk about today. So on Monday night, Kobe Bryant had the honor of having two jerseys retired. Those times when you get up early and you work hard, those times when you stay up late and you work hard, those times when you don't feel like working, you're too tired, you don't want to push yourself, but you do it anyway. Um, that is actually the dream. That's the dream. It's not the destination, it's the journey. Honestly, the biggest takeaway for me was when, I want to say it was Caldwell Pope, tried to shoot the game winning three pointer. He missed, he airballed, airballed. Not only did he airball, but Kobe Bryant got up and left. Literally, Mamba, out, like, for the yeah, last time. He had kids and stuff. It was going into overtime. Like, he had, he no, had the baby. Like, overtime he had is home. five minutes long. You think you he left because of the, the air Kobe, ball? Okay, so you're, me, you're <laughs> going to tell me this? If he made the shot, you think Kobe was not going to stay, do a couple more interviews, answer a couple questions, take a couple pictures? No, I think, nah. he, I think he was on the time-sensitive deadline. This is, listen, he this had is the classic, kiddies with him. It's classic Kobe. His listen. beautiful daughters. It's the shot. All right, well, we out of here. <laughs> Ain't nothing else to see out here. Sorry, showtime. So during this game, during halftime, Kobe had his retire, his jersey retirement ceremony, and it was his tribute was so beautiful. Nice. If you guys haven't seen that, go check that out. There's a lot of great animations talking about how he started out playing basketball, like folding up socks and just like shooting it in the garbage can and stuff. And during that ceremony, Magic Johnson gave a speech, you know, opening, like, welcoming Kobe, like, saying, giving him tribute, whatever. And he said during, this, during his speech that Kobe Bryant is the greatest Laker to ever wear purple and gold. We're here to celebrate the greatest who's ever wore the purple and gold. So what did you think about that statement? Listen, I have to agree with Magic. And I think anybody who, who appreciates the game in basketball has to agree with Magic. I'm gonna put it as simple as this. Kobe played 20 years, and people argue, okay, he had the eight, he had the 24, and the reason why they retired both because he pretty much had a Hall of Fame career with both mm -hmm. numbers. Like, 10, I think it was 10 years each, almost about the same amount of points, yeah. rebounds, and things like that. It's and three, mind you, it's three championships in two Yeah, three to two. Yeah. And mind you, in the, in the later half of that 24, in that last, the second part of 10 years, he didn't even really play one season because he was injured. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the thing about Kobe, another thing is, people say Kobe Bryant is the closest thing to Michael Jordan. And if Michael Jordan is your greatest player of all time, because he's not mine, LeBron. <clears throat> Same if thing. he is your, but but so Kobe's playing style was the closest to Michael. In fact, it was almost identical. And if he, with all his stats, with all his his championships, with his points, the years spent in the purple and gold, being closest thing to the goat Michael Jordan, of course he's the greatest Laker of all time by far. Yeah. So the commentator kind of threw me off because after after Magic said that, he was kind of like. I don't know why you said that. He was like, maybe Kobe is the greatest Laker in terms of like longevity. But I'm just like, no, actually, in terms of like all facets, like yeah. longevity, um, like how he affected the culture. Yeah. Like nobody was screaming Kareem, you know, it was Kobe. Like, well, you know? I mean, and, well, and numbers about, don't lie. Numbers don't lie. That, like, that's what another let, big let, thing about it. I got some it. stats for you guys. Oh, hit us with the stats, girl. <laughs> got some stats, stats for you guys. Stats so Kobe holds the franchise record in field goals for the Lakers, in three-point field goals, points, games, and minutes played, steals, and free throws. So he's number one in all those categories. Like, how can you deny him the title of greatest yeah. Laker? I think, I think one thing the commentators, what they're really harping on is the fact that the purple and gold is probably one of the most, besides like the Boston Celtics, when it comes to the NBA, probably the best franchise yeah, ever. Yeah. And we talk about Shaq. They have like 15 teams. We talk about wins. Kobe. We talk about Magic. Yeah. We talk about Kareem. Like we talk. There's a the the list of the top 10 greatest to wear the purple and gold. It's a tight list. Like mm -hmm. like I'm gonna take my statement back. Right? I said Kobe is number one by far. He's not really number one by far. There's a lot of no, great, not by far. There's like, a lot of Laker greats, yeah. you know. And the, I, the, the argument for Kareem could be made. Yeah, Kareem, even for Shaq, for all Magic too. Yeah, for Magic. Yeah, definitely, definitely for, for Magic. Magic too. Yeah. But for Magic to come out and say that, it shows the amount of respect people have for Kobe as a player. 
even former Laker players, so it's, it's great. Yeah, and Kobe's the first uh, player, NBA player, to ever have two jerseys retire at the same time for the same team, so. That's right. That's and a he huge deserves, feat. He really deserves it. Yeah. So, what's your favorite Kobe Bryant moment? Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> where do I even begin? There's, there's two. So I want to say when Kobe won his first championship without Shaq. I think that was my favorite and a big moment. Now I'm a LeBron fan, but like as a fan, it doesn't matter who you are, you can still respect certain players. I definitely respect Kobe, I definitely yeah. respect MJ. I think when Kobe won his first ring without Shaq, kind of proves like, okay, he's one of his own. There's the final seconds. As the buzzer sounds, it's official. The Lakers are NBA champions once again. LA wins the 2009 NBA title. The MVP of the 2009 NBA Finals, who averaged 32 points plus, who averaged almost six rebounds and seven assists a game, Kobe Bryant. The biggest thing back then is like, okay, Kobe needs Shaq. Shaq needs Kobe. Mm -hmm. Kobe can't win without Shaq. That's why you know they separated. And he got that ring and kind of it shut down all the, the media, all the chatter, all the hate he was getting. So that was a massive moment for Kobe. And also the 2008 Olympics. First of all, let me talk about that one. That basketball team alone. Yeah. Dogs. Yeah, like, dogs. Ah, I'm not going to compare it to the dream team, but ah, ah, ah. They, yeah. were, they were crazy. And then the final when they played against Spain, I think, Kobe hit like a big three-pointer and got fouled at the end. And then he said like this. <laughs> to all the haters, so, uh, to the whole Black world, Mamba. Mamba. I loved it. It was, it was yeah, my, I love watching favorite. the Olympics. Yeah, it was amazing when when that squad was together. Like Melo, shout out Melo. LeBron. One of his that's like some of his a young a young D Wade. Oh, yeah, young D Wade. God, that's phenomenal. True. Jay Kidd? Ooh. <laughs> I know. Ooh. Jay, Jay Kidd's one of my favorite. That's what was lit. Time. That's what's so lit now though. But like seriously, what's what's your Kobe moment? My Kobe moment, besides when he dropped 81 against the Raptors, was when he, when Matt Barnes was throwing that inbound pass and he tried to make Kobe flinch. Kobe was just like, nah, son. <laughs> like literally didn't move. That doesn't make any sense to me, unless he thinks he can entice Kobe Bryant. When I saw that, I was like, yo, this guy's a savage. Like right? Kobe, and this, and you know, people argue which Kobe was better, the eight or the 24, mm -hmm. and. It may be a generational thing for me, but I gotta say 24. Yeah, like, I was gonna say the same thing. Like, when I see highlights of the, of the A Kobe, it's, it's great. Like, he's young. He had the fro. He's jumping all over <laughs> the place, things like that. But 24 was the assassin. Like, that was yeah. like Mamba. Like, and the number 24 meant something. He was like, all right, listen, I'm one better than Jordan. Like, that was that was the whole point of him getting oh, that number. Oh, is that where that? Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Kobe don't play. Listen, <laughs> Kobe, the, he the real deal. So I it was like, that. and he was just more of an assassin. And that, that's the Kobe I love. Like, the real. Listen, you're not in my head. I'm, I'm here. I'm locked yeah. in. I feel very fortunate that we got to see him play. Oh, yeah. I never got to see him play live, unfortunately. Did, oh. did you? Yeah. No, I mean like in person. Oh, in person? No. Oh no, no. Yeah, I would love well, to see. That, that, that would have been kind of cool. We gotta see. We gotta see. Have you seen LeBron yet? No, I have not. We gotta the see the goat. LeBron. I haven't seen the goat play. We gotta see LeBron before. I, know. I mean, he's he's only in his 15 seasons. Yeah, so. I mean, he got like still, eight more. He got yeah, like eight exactly. more seasons we left. We still have anyway. more I got time, time to like get our money. I'll be able up. to take my kids <laughs> and go see LeBron play.